are again back on my trusty bench. Um, it's still pretty cluttered. I've had a bit of a declutter, but not a proper declutter. Um, but what we've got is another unboxing. Um, it's, it seems to be this time of the year a lot of good stuff comes up on the old eBay there. Um, nice and nice and cheap, and I mean cheap, really cheap stuff. Um, uh, for what's in this box, I think I paid about four pound eighty for. Um, but they're not really any good to anyone, apart from me, because I am a holder and a collector. Not so much a holder nowadays, but I'm a collector. I like to collect old things. Anything old, I like, especially radio-wise. Old things, radio-wise, I like. So here should be. I have cut the box open because I was expecting a couple of parcels and I wanted to make sure what was what. I didn't want to be going spending the time to video an unboxing for something that I thought was something that was not, if you know what I mean. So we've got some bags for packing there. And the first one. This is going to be a tricky one really, I'll have to, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll do it like that, that's better isn't it, that's better. The first one here, is this uh, HF123 3 channels 2 watt radio. It's just got 3 channels on it, it's just basically like a, the old style of a, like a PMI radio sort of thing. Um, that's your volume, and that's your squelch. Um, and you've got your talk button there. Uh, manufacturer, whoa, where are we? Let's have a look. Manufacturer RCH type HF123 FM, and it's just uh, it's made in Hong Kong. It's pretty nice actually, it's in pretty good condition, the telescopic uh, aerial, the telescopic antenna is, is in really good condition in fact, I know you can't see that, but it really is in good condition, it's not kinked, it's not damaged, it's uh, it's nice. There was a couple of these that were in their boxes, brand spanking new that I, I didn't win, they went for 40 quid and 40 quid is... As well out of my my price range, I'd never pay. Well, I would if I had if I had the money to spare, but I don't have the money to spare, so I thought to myself for a couple of quid, man, they make a nice unboxing video, and also it's some old radios for for you, innit? You know, I like old radios. Right, the next one in this box. This one is a similar type, but it's a CB. This one is. CB2781 HF1340 FM Now this is supposed to work So whether it does, I don't know I'm going to have to get myself a battery I've got one of these already um, It's in bad condition and it doesn't work But if I can get the little battery compartment to open This particular one My other one has um, Ah, uh, yeah, they've got this one's got the little battery tray in there. My one, it's got this, and you just attach a nine volt battery to that. But this one has the little battery tray there, so I'll be powering this up. I think I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do it on a separate video because then it gives you lots something to uh, look forward to, doesn't it? But uh, it's seeming to be good. It's got a little switch on there. Which I'm not quite sure if that's meant to be there or if that's... It looks like it's been added on, to be honest with you. And you've got the squelch there. That, that probably doesn't work. That's probably why it's got a switch for the squelch. I don't know, man. I don't know. Talk button. You've got your call tone and talk. It's, uh, it's the same. Made by the same people. The same sort of stuff on there. Nothing really is different. It's a nice material. The aerial on this one is also in really good condition. Really good condition. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on all of my handheld CB radios. Because they're all old. So you better see them all. But yeah, that's another one. 
I've actually got I've got this one here as well. Um, I didn't do an unboxing of it because it's not particularly old, you know. It's still old from the 80s, but yeah, I've got a couple of these. This is the the good one. I don't know if it works yet. And then also in this box, but not so much handheld radios now. It's just a few bits and bobs that the seller chucked in for me after I bought it. After I bought those handhelds, this seller decided, oh, you know what? I'll chuck in a few other little bits for you. So he chucked in for me this uh, SWR power meter. Uh, only measures up to looks like it measures up to ten watts by the looks of things on there. See if we can get it. I moved to I moved the old light little light tower today, so hopefully we should have better lighting for this video. But it uh, feels fairly robust, it's a little bit, little bit oily, but I don't know, maybe, whatever. None of these ever have the little antenna what's meant to poke out the top there. I've not got one with a little aerial, and I don't know what happens to them. Obviously they just get lost. But uh, it's a RA, RAMA. So I've not got one of these particular ones, so... Nice little, nice little thing to put on the shelf. And last but not least, in the box, this, this isn't anything special. I mean, if you want my honest opinion, I don't like these radios. It's going to be going up for sale. I'm going to get it checked out and serviced, and then it's going to be going up for sale. It's just uh, an Enterprise 40 channel FM CB radio. Didn't pay anything for it, so you know there it is. High and low. I'm assuming that's power. Manufacturer RCH Type Euro uh, Enterprise 40 Channel FM SNV122. Smells really old because it is probably really old. The channel selector seems okay. Squelch feels all right. Ah, oh, that's a bit loose, the old uh, volume one, but it's not a bad thing really. They're often loose. Don't have a microphone for it anyway, so I can't test it. But I know someone who can, so it's going to be going tested, cleaned, and then up for sale. So, there we go, my friends. Now, next video will be having a look at all the uh, handheld CBs that I own, and we'll power some up, and we'll, we'll, we'll have a little talk through them, see how they work. There you go, my friends. Lovely old radios. <laughs>